the widow's offering. A reading from the Gospel of Luke, chapter 21. As Jesus looked up, he saw the rich putting their gifts into the temple treasury. He also saw a poor widow put in two very small copper coins. Truly, I tell you, he said, this poor widow has put in more than all the others. All these people gave their gifts out of their wealth, but she, out of her poverty, put in all she had to live on. I was really glad that Janine agreed to be in the painting. Um, she's someone that is always giving gifts to people. Anyone that has got to know her well, and I've got to know her when she comes in on a Wednesday into St George Tron uh, to the Wednesday lunchtime service. And uh, she has the most thoughtful little gifts to give to people. Um, there was one time she gave me a flower that she brought from her garden and I pinned it to my jumper and wore it the rest of the day. And uh, Alistair Duncan, who's the minister here, he had a bit of a, a raspy throat and she brought in some cold medicine for him. And anyone that's got to know her would have similar stories. Uh, so it was, it was great to be able to include her. The more I've done this project, the more I've enjoyed exploring the people that I've met in the community, in the, in the cafe community, in the church community. That's been one of the, the real highlights and privileges for me of, of working on this. A couple of people had pointed out to me while I was working on this painting uh, that she has three coins in her hands. And would, wouldn't it perhaps be more biblical if she had two, which is what the, the text has. I suppose the, the whole basis of this project is having my portrait paintings set in 21st century Glasgow. So uh, if I was thinking specifically about being really accurate, I would need to be uh, in the Middle East and in, in the past. Um, but the reason that there's three coins in her hands is really simple. That's exactly what was in her pocket at the time. Uh, my name's Janine, which is a French name, as you can probably hear. And although one or two people have it nowadays, when I was given that name in the middle of the war, um, Martha Street Registry Office said to my father, it's not a name and we're not putting it down. So mum was quite upset when he got back home and she said, but you know, that was what we arranged. So later on, I investigated that name and it apparently means in Hebrew, a little gift of God. Came to, into this church, I honestly can't remember. I knew that Andy was working at least part time here. So when I came in and Andy was distributing the orders of service, I thought I was in the right place, all right. But it's quite a, a short reading. When I'm looking here, I think it's, it's not even 10 lines, but it's a story that a lot of people know. Um, and it must be there for a very powerful uh, teaching one or evidence of Jesus' activity that people do know what they, what they mean when they say a widow's might. Um, I think they, they usually mean I haven't got a lot of an income. But when I'm looking at that story or looking at it again, and I think every time you read it or um, act in it or see somebody else depicting it, it tells you something else that maybe relates to something that's happened recently. When I look at it again today, I think, how did Jesus know that she was poor? He certainly knows these rich people who are mentioned in the other bit of the story and he's quite hard on them because they're showy people that uh, presumably believe their wealth shows how much loved they are by God and of course poor people are in that wrong understanding are somehow despised by God or left by the wayside we might say. But it says truly I tell you and, he, and that truly 
I think it's really saying, you better believe it this time, because I've told you actually before. But this poor widow, how does he know she's poor? In Ian's picture, she's, um, she's kind of looking at her coins, but actually looking at some audience, the listeners, the listeners that were there, Jesus was talking to, or the people that are in this church. All these people, he knows, and he's Jesus talking now, shows his own prophetic insight. He knows where they got their wealth from. We don't know the details of that. We know bits of that in other bits of the scriptures. But they gave, gave out plenty of what they had. So taking a couple of thousand pounds out, you won't really miss it, will you? But somehow he seems to have insight into her. And although we don't know this woman's name, we often know the names of the men, don't we? The names of the women, we don't know. And that's maybe to do with something else, you know, but she, she's just known to us really as this poor widow. So relating it to my own life a wee bit, my mother was widowed young with three of us young children and Provision had been made by my dad with a life insurance, but complicated story won't be told here. Relatives embezzled that money and left her very poor and often asking for her money back. And you know, I can remember as a child being sad because she would be crying on the phone, pleading with a very close relative who had this cash. And I just think, despite that, None of the three of us children starved, and uh, mum was frugal and wise in looking after food for us and making clothes for us. And so I really, uh, out of that story, have thought a lot about my own self in a way that when I originally read that story years ago or where one once heard it from a pulpit, didn't really mean anything except, yeah, that was the story of the widow. So, although we don't know her name, she's kind of the widow par excellence, isn't she? She, she could really have a capital W here. And, and I think also of the Sermon on the Mount, where widows and the poor and, you know, have to be looked after. The early church did it, we think. And it's, of course, still a, a mandate for us nowadays. So that woman in that painting doesn't appear to be frightened that she's actually given away that week's, in our parlance, child benefit. Or, and yet we know, of course, those, those things didn't exist. She seems confident enough. She does look at her coins to give them away. So it reminds me of another quote that talks about throwing your bread in the waters and you think, can this be wise? It's not wise in the way, in the, um, the terms of our society, but sometimes it brings great unexpected blessings. So I hope it brings that for the artist and for the many people that come in here and we don't know which corner they're coming in or what they're coming in for. I hope that bit of the gospel gives them confidence and, and that they also enjoy their plate of soup.